Kevin Keegan's two-match guest spell with Blacktown City was one of the biggest PR wins in NSL history. Blacktown City were a yo-yo NSL club, but had tasted guest success before with Sir Bobby Charlton scoring their first ever goal in the NSL in round one back in 1980. By 85 though, Blacktown City were in trouble. Legendary journalist Andrew Detre described their squad as piano removalists rather than piano players. So to level the playing field, Blacktown turned to football's Liberace, Kevin Keegan. Two Ballon d'Ors and more silver on his mantelpiece with Liverpool and Hamburg than inside the Australian Mint. He was only just 34 and in impeccable shape, and for only six grand a game, he was a bargain at any price. Fans swarmed to him, which was made easy with marketing ads explaining exactly where he was staying. His coaching clinics drew thousands, and Keegan spent hours after they ended to ensure all kids got an 80s style selfie with him. His first game in Blacktown was a dour 3-2 loss to Canberra in a bog, but Keegan opened the scoring and bossed Gabby Stadium like it were the Volkspark Stadion. The hype for the following week, his final game against Sydney Croatia, was so unprecedented that the game had to be switched to Marconi Stadium to accommodate the demands for tickets. And on game day, Keegan didn't disappoint. Thousands descended upon Marconi Stadium like it were the cop. Nearly 15,000 inside and another 4,000 outside. Keegan set up Blacktown's opener with a through ball and got close with several other opportunities. It ended one all against the Croatia side brimming with talent. Blacktown, Sydney, Croatia, packed with socceroos like Jimmy Patikas and a 21-year-old Graham Arnold. And the NSL had just been given its most famous night. I think the 14,000 odd people who turned up got a very good game of football. 